Hey there, viewers. With work from home culture taking the corporate world by storm, people with white collar jobs are moving even less than they used to. Still, everyone wants a ripped body and to convert their fat into muscle. But that fried chicken and delicious pizza are ruining it for you, aren't they? Did you know that beef can help you lose weight? What about eggs? Today, we'll be talking about the best high-protein foods that'll help you lose weight. There are four calories to every gram of protein. It's 400% more than what you get from every gram of banana. If you'd like to burn fat, one of the best things to eat is ham. Meat and poultry such as beef, chicken, and turkey are also excellent food choices for weight loss. They're packed with protein and many vitamins and minerals. They're an essential source of vitamin B12, magnesium, and potassium. Science suggests that adding meat and poultry to your diet may help you lose weight. Two groups of women were subjected to different dietary habits in a weight loss program. One group was made to eat only lean beef, while the other was not allowed to have red meat. Both groups lost about 9% of their weight, but sometimes women in the lean beef group reported fewer cravings and fewer feelings of deprivation than those who limited their red meat intake. Another study showed weight loss benefits from diets rich in poultry. You can grill, broil, or roast your meat. Try it with any animal part, including the skin and organs. You should try the whole animal because it's less wasteful and good for the environment. Chicken breasts with skin have comparatively less protein than those without it. But breasts with skin may suit your taste more. Seafood is one of the best sources of protein. Tuna, trout, crabs, and shrimp are rich in magnesium, potassium, iodine, and other nutrients. Fatty fish like salmon are rich in omega-3 fatty acids. It's one of the most essential nutrients for proper neurological functioning. Studies suggest that omega-3 fats may provide health benefits or improve specific markers for heart health. Fish and shellfish of all kinds are packed with nutrients. According to a study, eating more seafood may boost weight loss in some people. Not only that, fish and shellfish have a very high protein percentage. That means more protein per calorie. You'll feel so much more full after eating. You should try not adding more carbs and calories to your seafood you want to have. This means no frying or battering the fish. Want to include vegetables in your weight loss diet? Go for leafy greens and non-starchy vegetables. They typically grow above ground. Some examples are cauliflower, broccoli, cucumber, and mushrooms. A healthy weight loss diet always includes veggies. These are high in nutrients but lack calories and carbohydrates. They're also rich in fiber and water, which will help you feel full. Try them raw in salads with a creamy dressing. Feel free to grill or pan fry your veggies in olive oil or butter if eating them raw isn't your thing. Keep in mind, veggies provide less protein than other recommendations. Non-starchy vegetables have reasonably high protein percentage, but unlike meat, protein from vegetables isn't considered complete. Vegetables lack all the amino acids needed to stay healthy. So fill your plate with these vegetables, but get plenty of protein from the other categories on the list. Eggs are a great weight loss food because they help you stay full several hours after eating them. Despite being high in cholesterol, they generally don't raise blood cholesterol levels that much. Eggs are among the most versatile, popular, and inexpensive protein sources. A large egg can provide over 6 grams of protein and barely 1 gram of carbs. While the egg white contains the most protein, the golden yolk contains essential micro and macronutrients. Some of these are vitamin A, vitamin D, iron, and selenium. Eggs are a fantastic protein for breakfast. You can make it any way you like, whether it's hard-boiled, scrambled, fried, or poached. You should choose the whole egg to get the complete nutrition, along with a better taste. If you want more protein and fewer calories, go for the egg whites. According to some studies, losing weight is more likely when you eat high-protein dairy foods. About 65% of humans are lactose intolerant. If you're one of them, I have good news for you. Fermented dairy products like curd and yogurt have little to no lactose. At the same time, they're rich in nutrients. 
Plain, low-fat Greek yogurt and cottage cheese are good options, but if that doesn't suit your tongue, you can go for full cream. After all, you want to enjoy your food. You don't want to slog through it. Choose something that fits your preferences. Whey protein supplements like powders and shakes generally have more protein than dairy products. But whey protein is a highly processed food that doesn't provide a lot of nutrition aside from amino acids. So you should go for dairy products instead. The only exception for this rule is when you're looking for a quick fix for all your protein. Hey, what do you think about cheese? How much protein does 100 grams of cheese have? I'll give you a second to guess. Are you ready? For every 100 gram of cheese, you'll get 24 grams of protein. Wait a second, don't get too excited. Cheese also has 33 grams of fat for every 100. No wonder your mind craves that fat every time you have a slice of cheese pizza. Legumes such as beans, lentils, and peas are a good source of protein. They also provide other essential nutrients. Yes, most legumes have a lot of carbs, but they're also high in fiber. Legumes are an excellent source of plant-based protein. They're perfect if you're on a vegetarian or vegan diet. A study found that people who included beans, lentils, and other legumes in their diet lost weight without deliberately restricting their calories. Studies also suggest soy products can help reduce your appetite and support weight loss. Soy is considered a complete protein, but beans and legumes are low in one or more of the essential amino acids. Well, here's some good news for you. Combining different plant proteins can get you all the amino acids your body's craving. In the market, plant-based protein supplements are available. The problem is they're processed and lack fiber. At the same time, they're a good option for getting more protein with fewer carbs. Vegans and vegetarians can include these supplements in once in a while, especially those following a low-carb keto diet. The story doesn't end here. There are also some drinks you can have to lose weight. Let's begin with the most basic, water. Water is without a doubt the best drink to have when on a weight loss diet, whether still or sparkling. According to research, increasing water intake among obese people results in significant body weight and fat loss. The next thing after water is coffee or tea. Now I know what you're thinking, coffee? Well, hang on a sec. I need to be specific. I'm talking about black coffee. Research suggests that having coffee or tea on the regular can help you shed pounds. That's because caffeine can slightly boost your metabolism. Most people can drink about two to three cups of coffee or tea a day. For some, it leaves them kind of jittery. In this case, you drink less or choose decaf coffee or herbal tea. Coffee and tea, if consumed alone, are virtually calorie free. Now, drinking it black is not everybody's thing. If you're looking for a little bit more taste, try adding some milk, cream, or sugar-free sweetener. Here comes one of my favorite things to drink, broth. Broths are a tasty way to stay hydrated while getting the proper amount of sodium and minerals. You can choose beef, chicken, vegetable, or bone broth. This beverage actually provides some nutrition, but the amount of protein in broth is low. It can vary from one to nine grams per cup, depending on how it's made. If you're eating more of these foods, there's also a few things you'll want to avoid. Alcohol might be the most obvious of them all. Limit your alcohol consumption when trying to lose weight. Alcohol has about seven calories per gram. The problem is there's no nutrition in these calories, but the calories you get from alcohol don't get used by the body. Instead, it's stored in the form of fat. This is how alcoholic beverages can interfere with weight loss. Don't worry, you can still have the occasional drink. Go for dry wine or pure spirits like whiskey, gin, vodka, or hard seltzer. If possible, stop completely or at least limit your alcohol intake to no more than one drink a day. Another thing you desperately need to avoid is highly processed carb-rich food. These foods are high in refined carbs and fats and low in protein and other essential nutrients. The high carb, high fat combination is the worst for losing weight because it's tempting to overeat. According to some researchers, these foods can be addictive. The most common of these food items are donuts, candy bars, potato chips, fries, ice cream, and cookies. When trying to lose weight, stay away from these almost entirely. 
foods and drinks that are rich in sugar should also be avoided. Sports drinks are one of the biggest culprits, if not the biggest. Most people follow what they see in advertisements, but do you think about your weight before buying that Red Bull can? It's rich in sugar and is made for people running low on calories. If you want to have a tasty drink and stay hydrated, maybe have a Diet Coke. It has zero calories. Just be mindful, even with diet drinks, they have artificial sweeteners that can leave you craving carbs. When you're carrying that extra weight from fat, you get tired earlier and move slower. This triggers a cycle where the slower you move, the more weight you'll gain. Let's keep the conversation going with a couple more related videos, shall we? Here's what you need to know. Check out the top 18 fat-burning foods for women. You can also watch nine proven ways to flatten your stomach. Go ahead, click one, or better yet, watch both and learn more about how to get in shape. Are you eating any of these foods? Are you considering it after watching this video? Let us know in the comments below.